Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, use, to make this card I used the stamp sets. Lovely Lattice, which is a free celebration um, stamp set when you spend £45 or more. You can get this free. And I also used a new one out the occasional catalogue, uh, Crackle Paint. It's a background stamp. Right, I'm going to change the colouring in, but not the cardstock. So for this I've got a card base of 8 to the quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, and two pieces of white cardstock, 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. I've also got another piece of cardstock, this measures an inch, but we'll cut it down. For the sentiment. The sentiment comes from Itty Bitty Birthdays and I haven't got it out. Let me just go and get it. This is also a new stamp set from the occasional catalogue and we'll be just using that birthday wishes which is here let's put that on a block so you also need a piece of copier paper uh, 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths just so that you can leave a border around the background stamp. You don't have to, you can fill in the complete card but I like it with the border. So to get started we'll need one of our card bases, our lattice stamp and our black ink. And we stamp up, ink up the Stamp nicely, and then we stamp that. Now I'm looking at the stamp because I know the sticker is not right, so it needs to go on a bit of a slant, and I'm placing that in the middle. Now when I lift it off, I'm going to go straight on to the um, copier paper. And I'm just going to, right in the middle. That's enough to cut it out. Bring off the stamp. Just let that dry a minute. Cover my black ink. Right. To get our border, what I've done was got my scissors fold this in half and just cut it out you go to pick a D you don't need it straight and there's our border just a thin board all the way around and then you'll need to cut this out for a mask it's quite easy to cut out especially that is on paper but I don't need to cut it out because I've already got one 
from last time. So what we'll do is place this on like that. Right, to place the frame on, all I did was put some removable tape in the corners. That's it. And then on the side. And then I place this on here. Not that easy to do. You just need to get yourself one little starting point. my background stamp and I'm going to change my background to petal pink this doesn't want to stay on that'll do so we'll ink it up no, this is this is powder pink. So ink up the stamp. This will be very pale, which I want. Right, place that. on there and just rub it over paying attention to the middle where the uh, mask is for the lattice stamp hope this works hope it's not too pale or too dark actually. Alright, let's have a look. Oh no. That's come up quite nice. Lift off this. That's come up really nice. Not too dark and not too light. Get rid of that. Don't need that no more. I'll clean that afterwards. Right, 
now we're going to colour in this. Um, to do that we're going to use our blends. Let me close this up. Get my box of blends. Alright, I'm going to colour it in differently. I'm going to... Where's the other one? I'm going to do my flowers purple. Uh, I need daffodil delight for the middle. I'm going to do these uh, little tiny flowers in mango melody. And I need um, old olive for the leaves. And for the back, I'll still keep it. I did it rich raspberry and blackberry bliss. That's it. So, move them out of the way to give me room. Right, let's do the background. So, I've got the blackberry bliss light. And all I did was you went around this scalloped edge. And this is the boring bit for you. I know, sorry. I have to be thinking of Valentine's card soon. really look for the um, frame bit and then with the light, light rich raspberry I coloured in the, the lattice bit This bit's the hardest bit. Go around all the little flowers. And leaves. <laughs>
Right, I think, hang on, there's a bit there. Right, I think I've got all the little bits out, and I'll just do this big bit. Daffodil Delight and draw the middles. Right, the Highland Heather. All I did was just flick it out. I just did the middle just by flicking out. And then over the edges of them. And then I went round the tops of each flower and just, should I say petal, tops of each petal. Where it's folded, I coloured it in completely where the, the petal has curled over. This one as well. You need to like concentrate. Right, and with Mango Melody, I'm just going to colour in these little flowers. Mm. 
from the butts. And what we'll do with that uh, pumpkin pie, dark, and we'll go in the middles. And then the leaves. Right, with the dark, I just went up each leaf that had a vein in it and then with the light I just went round and coloured them all in Got the uh, stems of some of the flowers. I think my pen needs re inking. Gonna have to reink this. Okay, so any of you who haven't seen a video, there is a video out of me reinking the blender pens. Right, with the dark, I just went and did the stems. and the stems of the flowers Is that it? I think so. Right, should pop them away after this. Right, now we just need to do the sentiment. So with our scrap of white, I'll put that this 
this side and our best wishes stamp stamp that down no good try again No, there must be neither why. Do it again. Flagged me on both ends. So, big pair of scissors. Make that smaller. Black out the ends. This could be a bit shorter. And that will go just about there. So let's stick this together. Oh, I know what we haven't done. On this one, on the inside, I stuck the two little flowers. So we'll do that. Just two random flowers. Did I put inside? It's sure to be a fun day. Where did I get that from? Itchy bitty stamps. Colour these delicately and the edges
There they are. That will do. So all we've got to do is put this card together. Helps me put it in the right way up. And then we stick this one on. And this we're going to put on with dimensionals. Big ones for it. Yeah. Just want three. that just there that's it there you have it I haven't put any gems on it should we put some gems on it let's put some gems on done a few cards just lately and I haven't put gems on them um one two three let's put some on this one one two three oh yeah Well, I hope you like that. If you do, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. And that is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.